Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix when the game is crashing in career mode on your Windows computer. Now the first step is to perform a clean installation of your graphics card driver. So if you have NVIDIA card, go to NVIDIA website. If you have AMD card, go to AMD website. I'm showing for NVIDIA. So go to NVIDIA website, select product category. For me, it's GeForce. Now select the right product series. So for me, it's 30 series. So make sure that you select your series and then select your graphic card. Now, once you select your graphic card, select the right operating system and then click on find. And then you will see the latest driver. So right now it's 561.09 and then click on view. And then click on download. And once the download is complete, you can run this exe file and then click on agree and continue and then select custom option and then click on next. And then put a check on the box which says perform a clean installation. Put a check over here and then click on next and let the installation complete. After the installation, restart your computer and then launch the game. Now AMD card users uh, uninstall the current version of graphic card driver, restart your computer and then install the latest driver from AMD website and then restart the computer and then launch the game. Next step is to run the game on dedicated graphic card. Now for this type in graphics settings in Windows search box and then go to graphics settings. Now click on browse, go to the game installation folder. So wherever the game is installed, if the game is installed in C drive, open C drive. If you have the game on Steam, open program file 686. Now open the Steam folder. Now open the Steam apps folder, open the common folder. You will find the game folder over here. Open the game folder, select the exe part. If you have the game on EA app, in that case, you can open program files and then open EA games folder, open the game folder, select the game exe file, click on add. In my case, the game is already added. Once the game is added, click on the game, click on options, select high performance. Now, now you can launch the game and then check. Next step is to install EA anti-cheat from EA website. So copy this link. The link is provided in the video description. Open this link in a browser. On this website, scroll down here. You can see download the EA anti-cheat installer. Now, once the download is complete, you can run this exe file. Click on yes to allow. Now, Click on this down arrow and select FC25 and then first of all click on update. And once the update is complete, here you can see update check success. Once it is done, now you can launch the game and then check. Still not working. This time select FC25 once again and then click on repair. And then click on OK and then go to the game installation folder. So go to the game installation folder and you have to select the game folder. Select the game folder and then click on select folder and let the repair complete. Now you see install success. Now once you can close this and then launch the game and then check still not working. This time again select FC25 and this time click on uninstall. And once uninstall, you will see install button. Click on install. Now, once the install is success, now you can launch the game and then check. Still not working. Again, select FC25 and then click on uninstall. Do not click on install this time. Close this and then you can launch the game. Launch the game from Steam or EA app. And during the launch, it will install EA anti-cheat. Now you will receive a prompt to click on yes to allow to install EA anti-cheat and now it's installing EA anti-cheat and you should be able to launch the game. Now the next step is to uninstall third party anti-cheat. So if you have anti-cheat software, any other anti-cheat software like face it, then you can uninstall it and then you can launch the game and then check. Also type in services in Windows search box and then click on services and then go to the now over here, find EA background service, make a double click on EA background service, set it to automatic, click on apply, click on start if highlighted, and then click on OK. Now, 
with EA background service selected, you can make a right click, click on start if highlighted. If you see restart, restart. And then you can launch the game and then check. Now, the next step is to run EA app or Steam as an administrator. Now, first of all, if EA app is open, you can close EA app. In my case, it is already closed. And if you have this game on Steam, close Steam. Now, if you have the game on EA app, type in EA app, then make a right click on EA app and then click on run as administrator, click on yes to allow. And then you can launch the game from EA app. Now, if you have the game on Steam, close Steam and then again do the same thing with the Steam. So make a, just type in Steam in Windows search box, make a right click on Steam and then click on run as administrator. And then you can launch the game and then check. Next step is to, now, if you're using any third party antivirus like Avast, Not On, Bit Defender, McAfee, whichever antivirus program you're using, allow the game exe file to your antivirus program. Now, for this, I don't have any third party antivirus, so I cannot show you, but I'm using Windows Security. So, if you're using Windows Security, then open Windows Settings, go to Privacy and Security. If you have Windows 11, in Windows 10, click on Update and Security, and then click on Windows Security and then click on virus and threat protection. Scroll down at the bottom, you will see manage ransomware protection. Click on it. Now click on allow an app through controlled folder access. Click on yes to allow and then click on add and allowed app. Click on browse all apps. Now go to the game installation folder, select the game exe file, click on open. Again, click on add and allowed app, browse all apps. This time select this exe file, click on open. Again, click on browse all apps. This time select this exe file and then click on open and then you can launch the game and then check. Now, the next step is to run the game as an administrator from the game installation folder. Now, for this, go to the game installation folder once again. And then Select the game exe file, make a right click on the game exe file, go to properties and then go to this tab, put a check on the box which says run this program as an administrator, hit apply, click on OK, make a double click, launch, launch the game and then check. Still not working, and then this time put a check over here, select Windows 8, hit apply, click on OK, launch the game and then check, still not working, then go to properties once again and this time put a check on disable full screen optimization, hit apply, click on OK, make a double click, launch the game still not working so when you put a check on all these boxes if it if it is not working you can uncheck these boxes hit apply click on ok make a double click launch the game still not working then go to properties and this time click on change high dpi settings put a check over here override the high dpi scaling behavior select application click on apply click on click on ok then click on apply click on ok and then launch the game still not working in that case you can Click on change high DPI settings, uncheck this box and follow the next step. Hit apply, click on OK. The next step is to run e anti cheat game service launcher. Now from the game installation folder, try launching the game using this exe file. So just make a double click and try launching the game using this exe file. Now the next step is to rename FC25 folder. Uh, it's not in document folder this time. So open file explorer on your computer and then go to this PC, open C drive. Now open users folder. Now open your username folder. Now open app data. If you don't see app data over here on the top, click on view, select show and then put a check on hidden items and then open app data folder. Open the local folder. Now over here you will see EA Sports FC 25 folder. So now before you delete the before you rename the folder let me inform you that you will lose all the game progress you have to start everything from scratch you will lose the saved settings so if you agree you can make a right click or you can simply create a backup you can copy this folder before making any changes paste it to the desktop i already have a backup now once you have a backup over here now you can make changes so you can make a right click and then you can just rename it dot old and then I already have this so I already have it so rename your ESports FC 25 folder and once you rename it now launch the game it will create a new 
uh, save game file. Now, still not working, you can even delete these save game files. And once you delete it, but you will lose all the game progress, as I told you, and you have to start everything from scratch. So delete it and then launch the game and then check. Next step is to repair or verify the game files. Now, for this, if you have the game on Steam, make a right on the game, select properties, go to install files tab, and then click on verify integrated game files. Once the verification is complete, now you can launch the game and then check. If you have the game on eApp, you can go to install games, click on the game over here and then click on manage. Over here, you will see the repair option. In my case, it is uh, linked to Steam, so there is no repair option. But in your case, if you have the game on eApp, you will see the repair option, repair it. And after the repair, you can launch the game and then check. Now, the next step is to roll back graphics driver. So if you have NVIDIA card, you can go to NVIDIA website and then select your graphic card in the list, make sure that you select your graphic card, your operating system, and then click on search. Scroll down, and then the latest driver right now is latest version is 561.09. You can try installing 560.94 or maybe 560.81. So roll back graphic driver to the previous version, and then when you when you in, when you are installing it, make sure that you put a check on the box which says perform a clean installation. After the clean installation, restart your computer and then launch the game. Now, if you have AMD graphic card, then go to AMD website and then over here select your graphic card. This is just an example. I don't have AMD graphic. So select your graphic card and then click on submit and then scroll down, click on previous drivers and then click on your operating system. And then you can install the older version. You can roll back the graphics driver. But uh, you have to uninstall the current one first and then install the older older version of graphic card driver and then restart your computer and then launch the game. Now, the next step is to update Windows to the latest version. Now, for this, go to Windows Update or Update in Security and then click on Check for Update. Once all the updates are installed over here, then restart your computer. And after the system restart, you can launch the game and then check. Next step is to install Visual C++ file. For this, copy this link. The link is provided in the video description. Open this link in a browser. It will take you to Microsoft website. Scroll down. Over here, you can see Visual Studio 2015, 17, 19, and 22. So download x86 and x64. Install both the files. So click on x86. And then you can run this exe file. Download this x64. Run both the exe file. You have to once the download is complete, you can run this exe file. Click on it. If you see the repair option, click on repair. If you see the install option, click on install. In my case, it's telling me to restart my computer. I have already installed it. Then once this download is complete, run this exe file. And again, if you see the repair, click on repair. If you see the install option, install it. Once the installation is complete, restart your computer. Restart is a must after this. After the system restart, launch the game. Next step is to Unplug all the external devices which you're not using. So if you have HOTAs, wheel, pedals, USB adapter, or any kind of extra, uh, any external devices connected, disconnect it. If you have additional joystick or controller connected, disconnect it. If you're using VPN, uninstall VPN, and then check disable overlay. Now for this, Steam users can just make a right click on the game, select properties, and then go to general tab. Turn off the option which says enable the Steam overlay volume game. Turn this off. Also, if you have like Discord running, you can turn off the overlay in Discord settings. If you have GeForce Experience running, you can turn off the in-game overlay in GeForce Experience settings. Or you can simply close all the overlay application and then launch the game. Also, if you have any overclocking application running, then you can like MSI Afterburner, Reward Tuner, or any kind of overclocking application running, close it, launch the game, and then check. If you have any kind of third-party services running, Close it. Third party application, close it. Also, if you have undervolted your computer, remove the undervolt and then launch the game. Next step is to increase the virtual memory. So, to increase the virtual memory, type in View Advanced System Settings in Windows Search Box and then click on View Advanced System Settings and then click on the first settings and then go to Advanced tab and then click on Change over here. And then select the drive 
So uncheck the box which says automatically manage paging file size for all drives. Uncheck this box and select the drive where the game is installed. So select the drive and then once you select the right drive, now put a check on custom size and for initial size it's 1.5 into total RAM. So you can check the total RAM in Windows settings. You can go to system and then go to about and total RAM in my case is 16 gigabyte. So you can calculate accordingly. In my case is 16 GB. So I will calculate as per 16 GB. So and first of all, we have to convert 16 GB into megabyte. So we will open calculator. So type in calculator in run box and then click on OK. And over here, uh, it's 16. 1.5 into total RAM. Total RAM in my case it's 16 RAM, 16 GB. So 1 16 into 1024. 1024 is actually 1 GB is equal to 1024 megabyte. So 16 GB in megabyte will be 16384 into 1.5. 1.5 into total RAM. This is my total RAM in megabyte. Now 1.5 into total RAM total RAM that is into 1.5. So in my case, initial size is 24576. 24576. And maximum size is 3 into total RAM. Now total RAM in my case that is 16 gigabyte. I have 16 gigabyte of RAM. So 16 into 1024. I have converted this in megabyte. Megabyte now that is 3 into total RAM. So total RAM is this much into 3. That is 49152. 49152. 491152. 5, 5, 1. Now click on set over here. Then click on OK. OK. Apply. OK. OK. Now restart computer. Make sure that you restart your computer after this. Now the next step is to update the system BIOS. Now for this, go to system manufacturer website. So if you have a Dell computer, go to Dell Lenovo computer. Lenovo users can go to Lenovo website. Now select your model number and then update the system BIOS. Now in case of laptop, before you update the system BIOS, make sure battery is more than 10% and the AC adapter, the charger is connected to the computer. During the BIOS update, your system will restart. Do not unplug the power cable when it's updating the system BIOS. After the BIOS update, log into the computer and then launch the game and then check. The last and next step is to you can skip this step if you're not able to launch the game. But if you're able to launch the game, switch to window mode and lower down graphics settings. So once you launch the game, uh, go to settings. And then go to settings over here. And then go to game settings and then go to display configuration. Now over here, if display mode is set to full screen, you can try window borderless or you can even switch to window mode. And then if the resol resolution is set to 4K, you can try 1920 into 1080p. You can even lower down more. Apply the settings, confirm. Also here you can see uh, frame rate. Now frame rate I will set it to 60 if the vsync is on you can turn it off and then check if the vsync is already off you can turn it on and then check for me I will just keep it off now here you can see dynamic resolution scale if this is on you can turn it off and then check now you can check the performance now the last step is to uninstall and reinstall the game to different drives so you can make a right click select manage uninstall now after the uninstall go to the game installation folder and delete the game folder then restart your computer and then install the game to c drive so if the game is installed to d drive e drive or any external drive try to install the game to c drive and then check if the game is already installed to c drive in that case you can try to install the game to another ssd and then check so one of the steps shown in this video should help you to get the game running on your windows computer so that'll be all thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel